Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up your STC DSL router and turn it into a Wi-Fi access point. Let's start the video. I have this STC DSL router. Here is the power adapter socket. These two are USB ports. These two are telephone line ports. These are four LAN ports. And here is the reset button. Here is its model Echo Life HG8245Q. Here is the MAC address. Here is the Wi-Fi SSID. This router supports two frequencies. 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz For 2.4 GHz, use this SSID and for 5 GHz, use this SSID and here is the default password Connect a 12 volt adapter to the power socket The power is on It will take some time to boot the router there are two ways to connect the router to your phone and computer. The first method is to connect the router using the Wi-Fi SSID. Here is the SSID. And here is its password. Use this SSID to log into your phone and computer. Now open the Wi-Fi connection. Select the STC Wi-Fi 1A9CAC. Click on connect and enter your password, next. Router is connected to my computer. Open any internet browser. And enter the default IP address, 192.168.100.1, and press enter. Here is the login page. Select English. Username, Telecom Admin. Password. Admin Telecom English Login Now, from here, you can change all router settings. The second method is to use the LAN port. However, if you don't know the Wi-Fi password, use the LAN port to connect your laptop or computer to the router. Put the patch cord wire in any LAN internet port. and connect the other side of the cable to the PC or laptop. Open network and internet settings. Click on the change adapter option. Here is the network connection. Ethernet. Right click on Ethernet. A list will open. Click on Properties. Ethernet properties are opened. Click on Internet Protocol version 4 TCP over IP version 4. And click on Properties. By default, it is set to obtain an IP address automatically. Select Use the following IP address. The default IP address of the router is 192.168.100.1. So you should use 192.168.100.2 Subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 And click on OK Close Close all windows Open any internet browser And enter the default IP address 192.168.100.1 And press enter Here is the login page. STCHGA245Q. Select English. Username, Telecom Admin. Password, Admin Telecom. Login. Device information. Basic information. Device type. 
HGA245Q. Description. Echo Life HGA245Q. SN Serial Number. System Tools. If you want to restart your router, then click on Restart. Voice. These are voice setting no need to change any setting. Network Application. Home Sharing. Enable Printer and Storage Sharing. If you want to enable it, then click here. There is no need to change these settings. Router. Van name, Internet RVID, 100. That is the van interface name. Security. Current firewall level. User defined. Firewall level. Click here and select your firewall level. WLAN or wireless LAN. 2.4 GHz advanced network setting. SSID name STC Wi-Fi 1A9C. Enable SSID. Number of associated devices, 32. Broadcast SSID. Enable WMIM. Authentication mode. Select this one. WPA pre-shared key. That is the Wi-Fi password. If you want to change your Wi-Fi password, then do so from here. That is the SSID for Wi-Fi. Click on Apply. 5 GHz of basic network settings. SSID name STC Wi-Fi 1A9CAC. Enable SSID. Number of associated devices, 32. Broadcast SSID. Enable WMIM. Here is the Wi-Fi password. 5 GHz of advanced network settings. Regulatory domain. Select your country. I am in Saudi Arabia. Channel width. Auto 20, 40, 80 MHz. And click apply. Automatic Wi-Fi shutdown. If you want to enable automatic shutdown of the router, you can select it from here, but I do not want. Wi-Fi coverage management. You do not need to change the setting. IP version 6. Enable the default router. LAN address configuration. Here you can change the IP version 6 LAN setting. I am not using IP version 6, so I will not change any configuration. LAN. On this page, you can configure LAN ports as layer 3 ports by selecting the corresponding check boxes. The layer 3 ports will be assigned as HG ports. From here, you can select any port as a layer 3 port. LAN 1 is already connected to my laptop. LAN host configuration. No need to change any setting. DHCP server configuration. Enable the primary DHCP server. Enable DHCP relay. Enable option 125. LAN host IP address. Subnet mask. Start IP address. 192.168.100.2 192.168.100.1 That is the default IP address of the router. VAN Here is the default VAN link. Click on New. A list will open. Encapsulation mode, IPOE, protocol type. I am using IP version 4. If you are using IP version 6 then select IP version 6. One mode. Router mode or bridge mode. I am using it in router mode. Service type. Internet. Enable VLAN. VLAN ID. 
You can write any number from 1 to 4094, I will write 20. 802.1p policy. Use the specified value. Binding options. Select LAN 1. We are using LAN port 1 as a VAN port. IP acquisition mode. DHCP. And click apply. You can see we added another VAN. Now click on root. Click here and select van root we just configured. And click on apply. Click on system tools. And restart your system. Unsaved data will be lost. Are you sure you want to restart the device? Ok. Now remove this patch cord. And connect the internet LAN cable to your router. Connect the internet cable to LAN port 1. Now the router works as a Wi-Fi access point. Open the Wi-Fi connection. Select the STC Wi-Fi 1A9CAC. Connect. And enter your password. Next. Yes. Now the router is connected to the laptop. Open your internet browser. Search Google. The internet is working fine on my laptop. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Star Technology 5G. Please like and share the video.